good day in this video i am going to teach you how to find the total number of dots of a polygonal numbers using polygonal numbers formula so the first formula is triangular n triangular n is equal to n times the quantity of n plus 1 all over 2 the second one is a square n is equal to n to the power of 2 the third one is pentagonal number or pentagonal n is equal to n times the quantity of 3n minus 1 all over 2. So, don't you know guys that n, n, n represents the placement of the respective polygon? Using the formula, we can find the total number of dots with respect to its placement number. Take note of this one. Placement number, or also known as, you can see here, first, second, third, etc. Okay, so if the polygon, if the polygon is in the first place, then the value of n is equal to 1. If the polygon is in the second place, then n is equal to 2. If the polygon is in the third place, then n is equal to 3. So, the same process or same procedure, you can come up with the respective value of n. So, let's take this example. So, let's say for example, we have here pentagonal 14, triangular 7, square 9. So, in pentagonal, the value of n is 14. So, it's expected that it the pentagonal is the the pentagon is in the 14th place then the triangle is in the 7th place and then the square is in the 9th place so what we are going to do here first is to find this one pentagonal number so what's the formula of the pentagonal number it's in the third formula here this one so using the formula Okay, so let's copy first the n is equal to 14 since we are in the 14th place here this one so pentagonal pentagonal n the formula here this one n is 14 so let's replace n by its true value which is 14 so continue doing the process so n is equal to 14 3 copy 3 then substitute the value of n which is 14 then copy minus 1 then copy the denominator so simplify I mean perform the indicated operations so we have here copy 14 then copy the symbol then 3 times 14 is 42 minus 1 all over 2 and then 42 minus 1, copy 14, then 42 minus 1, that is 41, all over 2. So now, 14 times 41. So, 14 times 41, that is 574. So that is 574, copy the den denominator 2. So, 574, 574, divide by 2, that is 287. That means to say, um, the total number of dots, the total number of dots in pentagonal 14 is 287. The pentagonal number 14 
the total number of dots in pentagonal 14 is 287. So, let's move forward sa triangular 7. In triangular 7, we will use the formula number 1. So, n is 7. Then, let's replace n by 7 in the formula. So, triangular n, which is 7, is equal to n is 7 times the quantity of n plus 1. n is 7 plus 1 copy the denominator 2 okay again so our n here is 7 because the value of n here is 7 so to continue we have here triangular 7 is equal to 7 times the quantity of 7 plus 1 let's make sure that every n here is being replaced by 7 because it is its numerical value so performing let's perform the indicated operation 7 plus 1 okay just copy 7 7 plus 1 that is 8 copy the denominator which is 2 and then 7 times 8 is 56 and then copy the denominator 2 and then divide 56 over 2 is 28 that is 28 so the total number of dots of the, the triangular 7 is 28 so solving the third problem we have square of 9 is square 9 so we have square 9, so n is equal to 9, obviously. So we will be using the second formula because it's a square. So we have a square 9, the formula is n to the power of 2. So, so we are going to replace, replace n by 9 then copy the exponent of 2 then 9 to the power of 2 is 9 times 9 that means to say 9 to the power of 2 that means to, this simply means that you are going to multiply the base twice so we have 9 times 9 that is 81 that simply means that square 9 the total number of dots in square 9 is 81 so i think that's all thank you for watching and i hope you understand you've picked something in my discussion and comment your your concerns and i'll beep you back thank you